Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I'm super elated to be scrutinizing another swing dance video for you today. But first, make sure you subscribe and headbutt that notification button so you never miss a swing dance reaction video ever again. Tonight, it looks like we are going to Inspiration Weekend 2020. This is a Lindy Hop tournament in California. Lots of talent on the West Coast. I'm assuming this is going to be some type of Jack and Jill type battle. I hope it is. And it's going to be good. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I will be telling you the absolute truth about who I feel are the winners of this competition. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. Here we go. All right, guys, let's get into Our this one. This couples. is not a joke. This is going to be some serious heat. Now let's see. Okay, live band. By one of my favorite bands in the world, folks. If you don't know, you get better get to knowing. Okay, now uh, some of these dancers are extremely familiar. I know some of them. Let's hope this doesn't cloud what I'm actually seeing. So far, uh, I'm feeling the couple more on the right. The energy level is just dead serious. It's high. Technically speaking, they both can dance, both couples. Uh, and right now, if I were to pick, yeah, a couple, couple on the right for me is is what I'm feeling. And three, two, one. All right. Red. Okay. Red's the winner. Uh, so I don't know who red is, but I picked the couple on the right. That's who I was feeling. They had the energy level. Let's see what's up. Okay, who do we got? Oh, that's oh that I know this dancer. This is Grace Durant. Uh, okay. Okay, so right now I'm feeling the couple on the left, the energy level. In these kind of competitions, guys, I'm wanting to feel some energy. It's a live band. This is emotion. <clears throat> All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to the couple on the left. Sorry. Is, that's what I'm feeling. Red's the winner. A couple, a couple on the left. Next couple. There we go. All right. Who, who's, who's going? What's going to happen? Okay. I like that move on the right. What they just did caught my attention. Uh, the leader did something I, I didn't expect to see, <clears throat> so now I'm locked onto them. Ah, a couple on the left coming out with some energy. Okay, uh, I'm going with the couple on the right just because they had a little bit more ingenuity. Just, just a little bit more. <clears throat> Red again. That's a winner. Yeah, so I'm going with what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling. I don't know anybody as much as I think I would. I just see familiar faces. Let's see what goes down. Okay, that slide with the girl on the right, that was pretty dope. Ah, I can't see everybody. I don't know what I'm feeling. All right, this this round is kind of uh, interesting to me. I'm not feeling both of these couples right now. Um, I think I, I got to give it to the couple on the left. There we go. They had a little bit more theatrics. One some things like that, but I really prefer the follower on the right. I think out of those four dancers, she was my favorite dancer. Follower on the right. All right. 
Uh, let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Okay, so it's semifinals. Okay, uh, um, both couples can dance technically, and at this point at the semifinals, I'm looking to see who can do something more with it. And so far, I see a little bit more freedom of movement with the couple on the right. She's got red dress on, he's got the blue jacket. <sighs> Jonathan, stop! My, I'm going with the couple on the right. That, that's what I was feeling. Next we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Come on. Okay, so far a couple on the left has gripped my attention. Yeah, I, I gotta go with the couple on the left. They understand the theatrics. Three, two. Yes, they, 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 it's the couple on the left for me, guys. They, they got the theatrics down. Even though I like the, the, the styling of the couple on the right, right. I prefer theirs. I still gotta give it to the couple on the left. They had that balance. All right, what we got? Oh, finals, this is it. Yes! Yes! Good movement, good movement. Okay, so right now, uh, I have this couple in the lead. They clearly have better understanding of the ideas that they want to do. <coughs> this couple is in the red right now. They gotta hurry up and, uh, do something. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Oh boy. <clears throat> yes. That energy. I love that energy.
All right. That was, let's see if this is the ending. It looks like this is the end, guys. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Let's talk about it. Man, that was pretty exciting. Inspiration it was. I, I can count about maybe three or four moves that really stood out to me. Now, the, the, the interesting thing is, is that some of those moves were done by people who didn't make it to the next round. That's, that's really weird. I think people look for different things. Me as a judge, obviously, I look for the bare minimum. And the bare minimum in competitions is can you do the control part? That one part of Lindy Hop that is objective, the leading and following. And uh, how you look doing that is a whole different story. That's more about preference, subjectivity, and a whole lot of other things that I look for. So obviously, Everybody that was in this competition knew how to dance. So where do I go from there? Well, first thing I do uh, in this kind of format, I got to go with timing. That's the next thing I go for. And the reason is, is because we're listening to a, a, one of the best live bands in the world. I'm sorry. I just have to say that a lot of people have their favorites, but I have my favorite. That's that's Jonathan Stout's band. I collect their music. I got my music signed, guys. You don't know who these artists are. You might know who they are. You might know what they're doing, but we don't, we haven't really seen the impact of what their music is going to do for future generations. So these guys are like superstars, and so when people dance to their music, I want I want dancers to do their music justice. I don't want it to just kind of be halfway done, you know. And so timing is incredibly important to me when I see dancers are able to elevate the the music with their dancing. That's huge. And the other thing that I look for is the creativity. That is the icing on the cake. When you've got control, you've got the timing that's going with the music, I'm ready to be wild. I'm willing to, you know, cheer for someone if they can get me to that point where all three of those things are synchronized. Now, I got to tell you in this one, uh, the couple that I feel that should have won that last round was the couple on the left. And that, that was the, the white haired couple, white dress. Uh, he had like gray suit, white shoes. Um, I felt what they did was really energetic. When I think about the essence of what their dancing was, it was, it was just simply inter energetic. They knew how to place exciting movements at the right time. Now, most of the exciting movements that were placed in the right time were okay to me. They were just like moves I've seen before, like throw the partner in the air, do a little dip, you know, do a little spin or roll on the ground. But the, the moments that really piqued my interest were the setup for those movements. They had some incredibly fantastic, unique ways of getting to those climactic moments in their dancing that I feel they had it better than most of the other couples that were there, including some of the ones that I felt that should have been... Um, included in the finals or maybe even semifinals. So the funny thing is, is I don't, I don't really like the aesthetic of their dancing. Isn't that interesting? How you can like someone, you can rate them really high, but you don't like them. You know what I mean? I don't know anybody personally. Some dancers I do, but I don't like the, it feels a bit campy. It feels a bit like, I used to do musical theater and it kind of feels like it's put on a little bit. Like it's, like it's not, coming from here it's coming from ready okay you know and some people call it different things but i just call it it feels a bit phony but what they're doing and how they're doing it is what i'm judging them on not so much if i like it or not i mean get that that's really hard to to do as a judge because everything we're doing is i would say the majority of it's subjective and obviously that critical part that's objective is the bare minimum but Aside from that, it's really hard as a judge to not put your feelings about what you like and what you don't like onto someone else's dancing. Um, and if you do do that, it's kind of, in my opinion, it's unfair as a judge. It's, it's like rating a movie the way you thought it should be instead of what, what the director and the writers were intending to do and how well they executed that. And so um, this is an example of, you know, I don't like a lot of romantic comedies but it was a really good romantic comedy. And I gotta give props where props is due. That, that's just the way it is for my, my style of judging. So um, they crushed it. They really did. In fact, I don't think it was fair. I don't think people, 
I think they may have come prepared because I, I think I've seen this couple a lot working together. So they may have some movements in their uh, repertoire that they can just whip out at any moment. It's like, wink, wink, here's the choreographed part. You ready? Don't mess it up. <laughs> I feel like they have that kind of gelling um, chemistry between each other. So um, what did you guys think about this? They were the, clearly the winners for me. Uh, my favorite couple, I would say uh, my favorite couple was kind of earlier on. Uh, she, yeah, she was, um, yeah, I liked, I just wish they would have had more, like, this couple, he had, like, a ponytail on the top, uh, black suit, and she had, like, the flowers. I just wish they had more, uh, diversity in their movement. They could dance, they had the technique, but I've, I've just felt like the energy level was a bit lower than everybody else's. Even if they just did the same set they were doing and there was a, a bit more joy and more energy, I probably would have had them higher. But they were one of my favorite couples. And the couple that got eliminated first, I thought, uh, I think that might be Alex. I'm not sure if that's Alex or not. She had a green dress and the purple. He had purple pants on, white. They were, they were crushing it in terms of energy. I felt their energy uh, a lot. I liked their energy level. So it's just weird how it is. I don't know. Um, but you guys are at my house, so you're you're hearing my opinion as a judge. And this is my opinion. This is who I felt should have won and who I liked. Uh, yeah, that's the, the white-haired couples who won, but who I liked uh, the most uh, was the, the couple. He had a ponytail in black. But... I tell you what, there was another couple. My favorite dancer out of all of them that I saw this weekend so far was the follower. She had like blue, like a blue thing in her hair, like maybe purple, and she had a flower dress and brown shoes. She was killing it to me. Like she had so many cool little slides, and just the timing in her dancing was there. Um, aesthetically, I thought she was the most appealing for what I was looking for. So there you have it, guys. That's my assessment of this particular competition. Pretty dope competition. I like the format. Sometimes uh, it's really hard to kind of pay attention to both parties. So the way I judge has to kind of be augmented a little bit. It's more about like who can get my attention. Something shiny. Something more shiny. You know, who's going to get my attention? So it's a bit unfair in that sense. But if they both had their set and I'm judging them, like just looking straight at them and, and kind of assessing what they're doing. I still probably would have picked the same couples. Just it is what it is. But anyway, guys, let me know who you thought should have won. What did you like about their dancing? And don't forget, guys, this is opinion. This is great. I live in America. In my country, we have freedom of thought, freedom of opinion. But we are forgetting that a lot of people don't believe in freedom of thought and freedom of opinion. They want to boycott you for having an opinion. But this is my house. So you can say the truth here. You can tell me how you feel about the dancing, what you liked, what you didn't like. The point is be pithy, be logical, be intelligent, and don't use any circular reasoning. Just tell me if you don't have a real reason. It's just your opinion. That is so refreshing. Also, if you guys are wanting to learn how to do this, this is important stuff. This is this is one of the dances that changed my life. I've been dancing for about 30 years, a long time. I've done so many different dances, and this is one of the first dances where I could take something super seriously as a professional, but yet also include people who aren't necessarily as crazy about it as me, people who might casually do it. And I think that's a fascinating phenomenon about swing dancing. And I encourage you, if you are not in yet, you should start doing it. It's really fun. And I've basically put together a program where you can learn how to master swing dancing quickly. The problem is, is it seems like it's harder than what it is. But there are some basic principles that if you apply and understand, um, they will allow you to fix yourself as your social dancing. You can work on this at home. You can work on it going to a place to go dance. But either way, you'll get the tools that master dancers are able to embody. And so we basically break these down for you so that you guys can get the courage, the confidence to be able to have a good time going out to social dance because it is worth it. It's a lot of fun. If you guys want to get a sample, you want to get an idea of what I like doing. I like creating new ways to move and uh, unique ways to do swing dancing uh, in a social dance setting. Not so much just for choreography, but can you lead it? Can you follow it? 
Um, and that's what I like to do. So every week we post new content for our Street Smart Swing community online. If you guys are interested in that, check out those free courses, like 25 to 30 free courses. It will really inspire you so that you can find your unique mark in the Lindy Hop community because no one is insignificant. Don't let anybody tell you that because you all matter uh, to this art form. With that said, let me know what you guys thought about these people's dancing. Who did you think was the winner in the comment section? You heard my winner. I want to hear what you thought. And uh, if I don't see you guys' comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see you in one of my classes online. Take care.